everyone, I'm Adrienne and welcome to my channel The Minimal Approach. Today I will be comparing some sweater and cardigans patterns, so if it's something that's interesting for you, please stay tuned. For us living in the Northern Hemisphere, it's getting cooler every day as we approach winter. So I thought it might be interesting if I review some of the patterns that I've made over the years that are either sweaters or cardigans. So the first sweater I'll be talking about is one I've made recently and it's the Gemma sweater. I really like this sweater and I wear it often. I feel like it's a bit different than other uh, sweater patterns that are out there. I love the elasticized um, cuff at the wrist. Well, it isn't a cuff, it's just fabric fold over, but you get what I mean. And I like the drawstring at the M. It's this feature that isn't on any of the other patterns that I have. And I love the neckline as well. I think that the geometrical um, pattern in the front is a good opportunity to do some color blocking. And that's what I did here. I also um, made the back white. And it's a very good opportunity to use fabric scraps. So really like this sweater for all these reasons. This sweater is offered in size US 0 to 14 and it requires fabrics that has some stretch. The next sweater pattern I'll be talking about is the Skipper by Seamwork. It's a loose fitting uh, sweater with an oversized pocket with a neck binding, cuffs and a handband. It's one of the sweater that I think I wore the most so far. It's really comfortable and I really enjoy it. I made this first version with the pocket, but then as you can see, it's it's really big. So when I made this sweater a second time in this uh, fabric, I decided to omit the front pocket. Um, this is a very simple make and I really enjoy it because I feel like you can wear this over anything. It's very comfortable and I'm really happy with the with both versions that I made. Uh, last year and I still get a lot of wear out of them. <laughs> this sweater is a little bit different. It's a free pattern from Jali and it's the Yoko sweater. I made this out of a lightweight jersey so it doesn't have the same purpose as the others. I really wear this as a standalone piece. I love this turtleneck. I love the sleeves that are bat sleeves. You know when you only have a front and a back that assemble here and right here there's a sleeve piece. Um, I think this is really comfortable and I wore this so much last winter and I can't wait to wear it again uh, when the days get colder. I wear this either with tights or with leggings and it's a really great make. Again, this is pretty easy and it's a free pattern from Jelly. This is the Alifax sweater and um, I chose the option with the front zip. But I really do like all the options that comes with this pattern. It comes in size X small to 4X and the bust measurements are 32 inch to 44 inch, just to give you an idea. Um, I really like this pattern, the instructions are great, it's really practical and it features the, some details that look really professional. I love the pockets, I love the little hood and I made the version with the line hoodie. I think it really gives a more um, finished look. Also, I like that she has you put a piece of binding next to the zip so it really looks finished and just really clean. I also purchased this uh, little accessory so that the, the end of the drawstring is uh, just closed like this. It fits really true to size. I think that this sweater is something that can easily become a, a staple in your wardrobe. And the next version I want to do is either view D or view E with the funnel neck. Now I'll get into the cardigan pattern. So this is Jali 3677. I made this pattern probably in 2017, I think, or maybe perhaps in 2018. I feel like it's been a while and my sewing skills weren't really good and I didn't have a surgery then so I zigzag the, the seams inside it doesn't look that bad but I can see how from but I can see that I've improved since I've made this also the fabric recommendations are for knits with 40% stretch and this has barely like 10 or 5% stretch so it wasn't a great fabric to do it but still I feel like it's a more structured look which is something I enjoy and I like the pockets I think it's a great length it's uh, mid thigh. The pockets are enclosed in this um, 
seam. So this would actually be a good pattern for color blocking if it's something that's interesting for you. Um, something that I don't really like is how the neck sits. It's, I don't know, it's weird. There isn't a color bend, so you just fold over the edge. And since my skills weren't that good at the time, I, I don't think I chose the correct fabric because when it's open, you can see this little uh, hem that's uh, fraying, even if it's in it. Just a little bit of um, threads that are pulling out. I did do a zigzag stitch, so it won't go any further, but still. Not my favorite, but there's still a place for it in my closet, so that's why I keep it. Next is a pattern I pattern tested for at Nakaku, and it's a cardigan. I have nothing bad to say about this pattern. The only thing I will say is that now having made other um, cardigans, I feel like since this collar band is so thin, it tends to roll over like this, and I don't really like that. Otherwise, I like the length. It's again mid thigh, and there isn't any pocket, which is fine. I don't really. And need them. The only thing that I don't really like is that I didn't do any belt loops so every time I want to undo the tie I just don't know what to do with it and it ends up being annoying. So that's the one thing that I should do. Maybe just do these little loops with threads and put them on the side seams which would be a very good thing for me to do actually. And um, otherwise I think it's a great little pattern. It's not my favorite cardigan. But I do like this color and I think it brings something more colorful to my wardrobe as a, I don't tend to have a lot of uh, red pieces. But it does look good with um, khaki pants. Next is the Sylvia robe by Sew Over It and it features some very loose fitting sleeves and there isn't any handband. There is a, a neckband, but, it, but it's not one that you fold in half and, and sew. It's just that the edges are fold over. So again, I don't think this gives the best finishing. And this looks like something I would wear to a very casual event. And I have to say, I don't get a lot of wear out of it. Um, this is a fabric I got from the big thrifted package I got. And obviously, I don't think I would have chose that fabric. But still, every time I wear it, I still like it. I think it's very colorful and happy. Um, but one thing I don't really enjoy about this pattern, and it's my bad for not noticing it before, is the very big um, opening at the cuffs. I think this is so annoying if you try to do anything. I always get pulled and then I'm like stuck somewhere by, <laughs> by the sleeve and I really dislike that. I think it's not really practical. So this would be something, um, if I ever make it again, it would be to lounge around or just put over before going to sleep. I don't know. But this is the Sylvia robe by Sew Over It. The last pattern that I will talk about is the Blackwood Cardigan by Ellen's Closet. I think this is a very well-known pattern in the sewing community. And for good reasons, it's just so well-drafted and I like the instructions. And everything just makes sense when you make this cardigan. I made two times the, long, the longer option and I really like it. It hits mid thigh, probably a little bit longer than the other, even if I did alter the, the length and remove probably two to three inches as I'm a short person. It requires a fabric that has 40% stretch and it probably looks best in a lighter weight fabric, which is something I like because it's so easy to find lighter weight knits and I think it's a challenge to find heavier weight knits that are not too expensive and that have stretch and that just fit all the requirements. So this is really practical. It features a little patch pocket and a, a, quite a wide handband, which is again something I like. Um, this pattern comes together so quickly. I made this version with Minerva Crafts fabric and I also made this version in another fabric that's so soft. It feels like I'm swimming in clouds 
it's really really soft with little pockets i think this is definitely a staple in a wardrobe because it fits with lots of outfits also i like that it doesn't fold in front i think it i would wear it open anyway and i wouldn't want the extra bulk of fabric around my hips so this is a pretty great pattern and I highly recommend it. It comes in size 0 to 30 and it also comes with different cup size which I think it's great because it really can alter the look if it's not well fitted. Um, even if it's a loose fitting garment, I think it, it's good that she made this improvement and got um, cup size. So this is it for today's video about sweaters and cardigans. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel so far, please subscribe. It's such a pleasure to know that you guys enjoy my videos. I also wanted to make a special announcement about Montreal Fractales that will be November 16 in Montreal in Hambar. Um, we will be releasing in the next week our sponsors on our Instagram account and all the perks that you have when you buy a ticket for the Montreal Fractals. If you're around, I think it will be great to see you there. We'll have a lot of fun and we have some great prices and discounts for shops that you like. I will put a link in the description box below if you want to know more. I'll see you for the October makes. Until then, happy sewing! Bye!